Hey, this is Patty Brooks with your tip of the day. I'm with the Forms and Contracts Committee, and today we're gonna to be talking about the walkthrough. Now, when I go to buy a dress, or my husband goes to buy a suit, we actually try it on for size before we go to the counter and pay for it. So, in those terms, let's think about how important the walkthrough is, regardless of whether it's a new build or whether it's a pre-owned. You wanna get your client in there a couple days before closing, if possible, and if there's an amendment with repairs, you want to take that with you, walk through the property, make sure all of those have been taken care of, and make sure that the property is essentially in the same condition as it was when your contract was effective. So if that was 15 days, 30 days, 45 days, you want to make sure the roof's still on, you want to make sure that the toilet's still flush, you want to make sure that the hardwood floors still look as good as they did. And if they don't, then you need to have a conversation with your buyers about whether or not they want to move forward with the closing. Same thing on the seller side. Think about how you're going to go ahead and transfer that property over to the buyer. Is it in good condition? Is it as you would expect it to be if you were the person on the other side of that transaction? It's a form I think that's more often than not left filled, left unfilled and you've left yourself and your buyer open to problems that could have been easily taken care of by them walking through. So take that time, make that appointment, and keep things simple, straightforward, uh, on paper, and go to closing without any problems. So again, this is Patty Brooks with your contract tip for the day. Thanks for coming by.